Hello and welcome to RSS part number two. In this specific video, I'm going to show you how to syndicate your RSS feed using FeedBurner. FeedBurner is now owned by Google.com, so it's very, very easy to use. All you're going to need is to have a Google account. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first things first, we're going to need to have the feed link because we're going to need this later. This is where my feed is, yourdomain.com slash feed. And if you have not found it yet, you'll need to find that because we're going to syndicate that feed. Now, what you need to do is simply go to Google Feed Burner. So type that in. You can go to google.com if you want to do that. It's at feedburner.google.com. Simply log in using your Google information. And syndicating a feed is actually very, very easy to do. All you need to do is simply enter the feed right here, click on next, give the feed a name. So let's say, for example, we're going to call it WordPress training, click on next, and there we go. So now we have a feed and other people can subscribe to your feed. And if we go to the feed, you can see the content. For example, post one, post two, post three. And we've got three posts at our site. And if you basically take this feed here and you can submit it to RSS syndicating websites that will syndicate your RSS feed, and also can help because it can give you more backlinks to your site with RSS feeds. Now, before I show you how to submit your RSS feed to RSS submission sites, let's go through this process. If we click on next here, FeedBurner basically just gives you a ability to get more statistics so if you can select these, if you want to click on next and there we go. Now let's click on analyze. The neat thing about feedburner.com is it allows you to track the statistics as you can see here, simply from this dashboard here. Now we don't see any statistics right now simply because it's new and we haven't actually gotten much traffic to it. If we click on optimize, this basically just gives you the ability to add some more features, make it look nicer and things like that. And publicizing your feed, it basically allows you to get more exposure and more subscribers. Now there are sites out there that allow you to basically take your RSS feed and submit it to them called RSS submission sites. There are many, many out there. One in particular is called feedag.com. F-E-E-D-A-G-E -E or feedage.com. And if you click on submit feed, you can simply enter your username and password and submit your th feed. And from here on out, basically all you need to do is start submitting your feeds to RSS feed submission sites. You can either do it yourself or you can outsource this process. In fact, one of my favorite sites to go to is fiverr.com. So F I V E R R dot com. Simply enter RSS submission. Pay somebody five bucks to do it for you. And it says here, okay, click on rating here. And we're basically going to rate the top rated people to, at the top and go from there. So it says here social bookmarking, RSS feeds. We're looking primarily for something related 
to RSS submission. I'm going to reword this as submit RSS. Okay, it says I will add your site to, okay, I don't want to do that. I just want RSS submission. I will submit your RSS feed to over 175 sites and directories. And whoever you submit to, make sure they have good ratings beforehand. I will submit your RSS feed. Okay. I'll do RSS submission of your blog. Submit it to RSS. Okay, so let's look at the these people here. It says, I will submit your RSS feed. Three days, 99%. A 1,000 positive reviews. And just go through, look at the reviews, make sure that you do your due diligence uh, before you buy from any of these people. And if all looks good, you can purchase. And it's, it's only $5. I mean, it's either that or you can do it yourself and submit it one by one by one. Uh, but... If you can find somebody who does a manual process, I'd rather have 20 high ranking done manually than somebody actually doing it automatically and doing like a thousand. So if you ever see anybody who says, okay, I'll submit your site to a thousand sites. Yeah, they might do that. They might use a piece of software to do that, but I would recommend finding somebody who can do it manually. So that's it. Remember, part number one, get your feed. Number two, use feed burner to burn it and get the feed that's basically you can have your subscribers subscribe to. And step number three, submit your RSS feed to as many RSS submission sites that you can to get more exposure.